Chairman of Leicester County Council, honored guests, members of the Board of Governors, and the Academic Board, ladies and gentlemen, may I welcome you all most warmly to this graduation ceremony of De Montfort University, at which we shall receive the graduates and diplomats from the Faculty of Business and Law who have completed their studies in 2017 and confer on them their various degrees and diplomas. For those of you who are graduating here today, we hope that you will value the time that you have spent at De Montfort University and that you will continue to keep in touch with us through our Alumni Association, which brings together our graduates from all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you all today to celebrate with us the achievements of those who are here to receive their awards and honors and to offer them our warmest congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Dumont University, Professor Andy Collock. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Andy Collop, the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, and a very, very warm welcome to this, your graduation ceremony this morning at De Montfort University. Now, in just a second, I'm going to start off with my formal speech, but before I do that, I'm going to need your help with the ceremony this morning. In fact, I'm going to need the audience's help with the ceremony this morning as well. So let me just explain quickly what will happen. So the centrepiece of our occasion is where our graduates walk across the stage, they receive their certificate in the centre of the stage, uh, they graduate and then they uh, walk off the stage. So at that moment, what I'd like friends, supporters to do is make as much noise as possible. Cheer, shout, stamp your feet, make as much noise as you can in support of the person that you're here uh, with today. And fellow students, I'd also like you to support your students as they come across the stage and again, make as much noise as is possible. Now, this is the, we have about 19 ceremonies over a week or so, and this is the very last business and law ceremony. And we've had some fantastic business and law ceremonies. They've been very, very lively. But I have my hopes set on this being the liveliest ceremony yet. So, what I want to do is, I'm, I'm gonna have a little practice if that's okay. So I'm gonna count to three, and when I get to three, I want you to absolutely raise the roof for me. Stamp your feet, scream and shout, make as much noise as you possibly can. So are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. Fantastic. If you keep that up, we'll have an absolutely fantastic ceremony this morning, so thank you very much. Pro-Chancellor, members of the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, honoured guests, and of course, our graduates. I'm very proud to be here with you today to celebrate your academic and personal achievements and to share with you your graduation at De Montfort University. Now, I can just about remember my own graduation in the dim and distant past, and before anyone says anything, this isn't actually a photograph of me white tie, Latin recital, and bowing and kneeling. I seem to remember lots and lots of bowing and kneeling, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know there's no bowing and kneeling involved in today's ceremony. But like many of you waiting to graduate today, I was busy thinking about many things, some mundane and some more profound. Who to look at, or perhaps who not to look at as you cross the stage. How to avoid the dreaded sweaty palm handshake, and whether my friend's shiny new pair of stilettos would let her down just at the moment that she collects her degree certificate. Today is a day of ceremony and procession, but it is also one of celebration and being proud of your achievements. And you should allow yourself a moment to reflect on just how far you've come during your time at DMU. I know you'll also be thinking about what's next. Of course, some of you may already what you, what you will be doing next. There might be a new job starting next week, or you might be looking forward to further study, taking a break, or perhaps traveling overseas. It's a world that's ever-changing, and many things have happened during your time here at DMU. As you began your studies, we had a referendum on whether Scotland should become an independent country and break apart the United Kingdom, which has stood for over 300 years. 
we've seen not one, but two general elections, with the results shaking the political establishment and providing very little strength or stability. And then there was last summer's EU referendum, which has triggered a near unprecedented level of political engagement right the way across the UK. Donald Trump sits in the White House as the leader of the free world. And then just when you thought things couldn't get any more crazy, Leicester City went and won the Premier League. <laughs> Extreme or unusual political events can often encourage us to stop and look at the world in which we live, to look closely at the people around us and the way in which we engage with one another. Sadly, many developments over the past three years have been for the worst. President Trump's travel ban, growing suspicions of the other and of people from different countries, religions or ethnicity, and sentiments of anti-intellectualism and the assertion by a cabinet minister, no less, that this country has had enough of experts. As university graduates, you have a duty to speak out against intolerance and the vilification of experts. Universities are a public good, institutions of intellect, knowledge creation and knowledge exchange, and you are our representatives. Many of you will know the story of Stephen Lawrence, a teenager who was tragically murdered in a racially motivated attack in London in 1993. Doreen Lawrence, Stephen's mother, is now the Chancellor of your university. Faced with extreme adversity, she said, I could have shut myself away, but that is not me. Instead, Doreen has campaigned tirelessly for justice, which has led to changes being made to the Race Relations Act and the Criminal Justice Act, and she's helped Britain become a better society. Doreen also launched the Stephen Lawrence Charitable Trust in 1998 to promote equal opportunities for young people. As you enter the world outside of DMU, you will become representatives of a global outlook, of community citizenship and the public good. When some would have us look inwards and be insular, I would implore you to encourage others to be outward looking, to become citizens of the world and to embrace compassion and tolerance. I know many of you have already begun to do so during your time at DMU. I'd like to share with you two observations from Mahatma Gandhi, someone with whom we've become very familiar through our university's work in India. Gandhi said, you must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean. If a few drops in the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. You must be the change you want to see in the world. We can take inspiration from these quotes. As graduates of DMU, you've made a conscious choice to commit yourselves to learning, to grow as individuals, and to succeed through adversity. You're part of a generation whose voice has been reawakened, which we saw at last month's general election when record numbers of students voted. You've volunteered through DMU Square Mile, and you've engaged with the world through DMU Global. You are our optimism and our change. And we can be hopeful because you're making your voice heard and taking action against the things you believe are wrong and in support of the things you believe are right. Now, I don't know what the next three years or even the next 12 months will bring, but as graduates of DMU, I know that you can face the world of uncertainty with confidence. Confidence in your university, because excluding specialist institutions, DMU is one of only 33 institutions to receive a gold rating in this year's Teaching Excellence Framework, or TEF. The TEF was created by government to provide, for the first time, an assessment of universities focused solely on metrics that matter most to prospective students, teaching quality, student satisfaction and graduate employment outcomes. Our gold rating means that DMU was judged as outstanding for the quality of its teaching and the impact this has on students' lives. The TEF ranked DMU first in the country for equipping its students for highly skilled employment or further study. We were also ranked fifth in the country in a TEF league table and were the second best university for disabled and BME students. You can also take confidence from being from an international outlook and being part of our international community of students and alumni. I know that many of you will have joined our unique visit to New York earlier this year, where we took 1,000 students to the US as citizens of the, as of the world, as well as coming to Berlin last month. We're very proud of DMU Global, with almost 20% of students now citing it as a reason for coming to DMU. 
and I'm delighted to be able to announce today that we're extending DMU, DMU Global Trips to alumni. So hopefully some of you will be able to join us in the future uh, on large-scale DMU Global Trips. Next year we're planning to go back to New York, we're also planning to go to uh, Hong Kong with the British government, and we're planning to go back to Berlin. So hopefully we'll see some of you on those trips. Finally, you can take confidence from yourselves and from your own successes and experiences at DMU, whether academic or achieved through volunteering or sport, or through enterprise and individual endeavor. For many of you, the choice of what is next will be the first of many you need to make. Where you find success, there may also be disappointment and challenge. Do not let that beat you down. You're allowed to fail and fail again until you succeed. Making a choice is not always about making the right choice. It's about taking a decision and committing to it without being paralyzed by fear or regret. Robert Frost captured this notion in his poem, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that, the passing there had really warned them about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I ever should come back. I should be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference. I spoke earlier about Gandhi's assertion that you must be the change you want to see in the world. This is true. But the degree you receive today doesn't just give you permission to change things, it commits you to it. As graduates, you won't just be making your way in the world, but making the world, and for the better. Amid an increasingly empty clamour for attention, thoughtful, authentic and honest voices need to be heard. Make your voices heard, and listen too to the voices of others. Graduation is change. You've taken your hard work and the fun times, your commitment and your sacrifice, your setbacks and your bounce backs, your planning and moments of great inspiration, teaching and your own talent and turn them all into this success that we celebrate today as you receive your degree from De Montfort University. This is your time to shine. Take the lead, be the voice, be the change. Thank you very much and many congratulations. <laughs> Members of the Faculty of Business and Law, by the powers vested in me by the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, I confer on you the awards to which you are entitled. Please commence the presentation of graduates and diplomates to the Pro-Chancellor. Honourable Pro-Chancellor, I present to you the graduates and diplomates of the Faculty of Business and Law, who, by their achievement, have had conferred on them academic awards of the university. Leicester Business School, the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management and Law, Zana Beg. In business and marketing, Alfred Achiempong. Jennifer Victoria Anili Adje. Abiyaz Ahad. <laughs> Nadia Ahmed. <laughs> Rahan Ahmed. Nicola Allen. Yeah. 
Joseph William Anglis. Karim Azab. Chloe Bark. Malietu Barry. Sarah Bell. Daniel Brace. Leon Carty. Olivia Duval. Olivia Rose Fraser Forsyth. <laughs> Harry Hill. <laughs> Owen Hinkson. <laughs> Rajpreet Hundal. Daram Deep Janjua Luke Michael Jones Stephen Andrew Jones Kiranjit Korea Bilal Karim Chelsea Jade Leo Dylan MacDonald Hakaran Maney Belkis Mato Jack Morton Taylor Orr Benjamin Rording Dexter Reeds Mark Andrew Santos Seiki <laughs> Joseph Semple <laughs> Shabazz Shah <laughs> Timelian Samosu Davina Taylor <laughs> Alexandra Taylor <laughs> George William Taylor <laughs> Lee, 
winner of the IBM Innovation Prize for Best BA Honors Business and Marketing Student, Jennifer Walker. <laughs> Joseph Daniel Walsh. <laughs> Jordan Webb. Jeff Wong. Samina Yasmin. Wenjing Zhang. Leah Zheng. In digital marketing and social media, Megan Olivia Cliff. <laughs> Winner of the IBM Innovation Prize for Marketing Planning and Management and winner of the GI Solutions Group Prize for Best Digital Marketing and Social Media Student, Sasha Louise Fellows. <laughs> Ryan Hayes. <laughs> Raymond Joseph Alexander Heath. Alexandra McKenzie. Theodore Miller. Jessica Lynn Smythe. Ryan Anthony Taylor. Joshua Worker. In economics, Adam Ahmed. Shahid Ahmed. Hawa Jumeji Ali. Kwabena Amo Jemfi. Michael Joshua Aremu. Ikbinda Kaur Baines. Peter Barker. Winner of the Faculty of Business and Law Prize for Best BA Honors Economics student, Nicholas Joseph Batty. Ashish Shohan. Callum Emerson. Sharuk Iqbal. Munira Jama. Navjivan Johal. <laughs> Rahul Mali. <laughs> Jasphir Singh Mangat.
Ross Jordan McKenzie. Amur Nazir. Victoria Page. Gargandeep Panu. Mohammed Iqbal Patel. Michael Quadri. Chirag Savania. In Economics and Politics, winner of the prize for Best BA Honours Economics and Politics student, Chisholm Stephanie Andindi. Peter Andu. Rayana Dehore. Mwanza Kamola. Iniebo Moses Jack. Sadia Omar Hassan. Radhika Poor. In Human Resource Management, Tommy Adiemo. <laughs> Chloe Brandon. <laughs> Alexander Corbett Bohr. <laughs> Sophie Louise Hall. Alan James. Malika Karima James. Martina Jurina. Winner of the QDOS Prize for Best BA Honours Human Resource Management student, Sharon Dip Kaur. <laughs> Tanya Machado. <laughs> Elizabeth Membu. David James Munyeka. <laughs> Winner of the Human Resource Management Department Prize for Best HRM Dissertation, Ellie Marie Pemberton. Bavika Satishchandra Rechura. <laughs> Zachary Lane Redman. <laughs> Henrik Smolinski. <laughs> Monica Simeonaidu. In 
international business and globalization, Daniel Beer. Andrea Winnie by India Judum. For was Zane Loon. Winner of the prize for best BA Honours International Business and Globalization student, Dale Lucas. Calvin Rana. Shamrez Yunis. In International Marketing and Business, Halam Dalat Abdusalam. Kate Ariel Alinia. Rizwan Alias. <laughs> Natasha Begg. <laughs> Dominika Bobowska. <laughs> Kennedy Hayden. Winner of the SAGE Prize for Best BA Honours International Marketing and Business Student, Malik Ongungbo. Charlene Torres Recto. Eric Valencia. Yuan Yuan Zhang. In international relations, Rajiv Kumar Sam Devani Tilden. Abu Bakr Kazi. Carla Montero Granados. <laughs> Isabel Morehouse. <laughs> Winner of the prize for Best BA Honours International Relations student, Michael John Norton. Chikeo Dili Ozamba. <laughs> Martins Pepenix. <laughs> In international relations and politics, joint winner of the prize for best BA honors international relations and politics student, Sasha Capaletti. Edward Stephen James Friel. <laughs> Matthews Kimichek. <laughs> Laurie Ellen Nola. <laughs> Rory Mayha. Dara Mohammed. <laughs> Joint winner of the prize for Best BA Honours International Relations and Politics student, 
winner of the prize for best overall student in the Department of Politics and Public Policy, winner of the Michael Cunningham Prize for best international relations dissertation, and winner of the award for outstanding performance in the workplace, Louisa Elizabeth Nicholson. Duke Alexander Stefan Radchenko. Nathan Sudworth. Giuseppe Talura. David Thomas Woolley. In marketing and media, Jack Burnett. <laughs> Winner of the Faculty of Business and Law Prize for Best BA Honours Marketing and Media Student, Alexandra Josie Burton. <laughs> Alana Harrington. In Marketing Management, Marissa Adams. <laughs> Nikki Nafpreet Kaur Atwal. Kieran Conway. Bradley James Crosdell. Cheyenne Fairweather. <laughs> Winner of the Faculty of Business and Law Prize for Best BA Honours Marketing Student and winner of the Institute of Direct Marketing Award for the Best Student on the Interactive Marketing Campaign Module, Lucy, sorry, I beg your pardon, Hannah Lucy Javid. <laughs> Makita Maru. <laughs> Yvonne Munshi. <laughs> Michael Tolu Okanliwan. <laughs> Christopher Okan. Christopher Stanton. <laughs> Cheng Chiao Yu. In politics, Jack Gardner. <laughs> Peter Harris. Winner of the prize for best BA honours politics student, Luke Parker. <laughs> Hannah Charlotte Elizabeth Rowe. <laughs> Jessica Jane Elizabeth Ruan. David Smalley. <laughs> Callum Wernham. <laughs> Ryan Willett. <laughs> In retail management, 
Emma Blanchfield. Alicia Sethi. The degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Studies, Wahab Asan. Connor Anderson. Thomas Edward Coombs. James Head. Winner of the Sage Prize for Best Bachelor of Science Honours Business Study Student, Jessica Lawrence. Thomas Jack McLaren. Benjamin Joel Kofi Opoku. Luke Ellison George Parr. Oliver Power. Wojciech Zub. In Economics and Finance, Mohammed Adam. Shanice Agimem Prempe. Bada Nasser Salim Ali Abri. Michael Burlak. Nathan Corden. Ravinda Singhil. Renard Hanafi. Ashak Ibrahim Kassam. Adam Khan. Joseph Lane. AJ Main. Hassam Muhammad. Cameron Lewis Mundy. Dean Musa. Aitunu Olua Olatin. Balpreet Singh Rai. Anu Shah. Winner of the Bloomberg Prize for Best Performance on the Investments and Portfolio Management module and winner of the Sengage Learning Prize for Best Bachelor of Science Honours Economics and Finance student, Tina Shah. <laughs> Reese Aaron Smith. Jayan Tank. Yeah. 
Lucy Udo. Rayad Umaji. In Housing Studies, Julie Elizabeth Flynn. Winner of the Faculty of Business and Law Prize for Best Student on the Bachelor of Science Housing Studies, Anna Louise Isabel Patterson. Sam Spencer. The degree of Bachelor of Arts in Marketing and Media, Loretta Corte Davidson. <laughs> Lucia Panda. The degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Politics, Eleanor Opuku. This concludes the presentation of the graduates and diplomates from the Faculty of Business and Law. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of De Montfort University, Professor Andy Collop. Wow. Well, I have to say you've been an absolutely fantastic audience. And we're coming to the end of um, the proceedings this morning. Um, I, I have one more favour to ask from both our students and the audience as we end, end the proceedings, and I'll just explain what's going to happen. So uh, there'll be a procession at the end, and there's some music that we walk out to, um, and then at a particular moment in the music, it reaches a crescendo, and I'm going to go like this, and I want everybody to stand up, stamp your feet, make as much noise as you possibly can, and raise the roof. So if you can do that for me, I would be absolutely delighted. And then, um, students, if you can come back on the stage afterwards, you can have photographs, uh, et cetera. So if you can do that for me, that will be absolutely fantastic, and we will end with a fantastic ceremony for business and law. So honoured guests, members of the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, I can now say, graduates. My final duty is to bring this ceremony to an end, and now the celebrations can begin. To all our graduates, many congratulations. Be proud of yourselves. We are very proud of you. Go and make the future. Thank you very much.